Most of us can agree that rats are pretty gross, but nothing's better than overwhelming your opponents with a disgusting horde of rodents. These 10 rat cards will take your rat deck from slightly gross to downright putrid. And let's start in at number 10, we have Gnawing Vermin. This rat is extremely useful as a one drop. You can mill a couple cards into your graveyard and then help with a plethora of graveyard shenanigans in black. You can also ping a creature on its way out when it dies. And so yeah, they can help take out a mana dork and say goodbye to Birds of Paradise. Next up we have Wave of Rats. Slightly expensive for a rat at four CMC. This little, little rodent comes with Trample and Blitz. And so Blitz is a mechanic that gives a creature haste, but at the end of the turn, you have to sacrifice it. But when it dies, you get to draw a card. Um, but this rat has a separate ability that allows it to come back after it dies as long as you've done combat damage to a player. So because that is trample, there's, it's pretty likely you'll be bringing them back every single turn. Number eight, we have Icar Rats. This rat really leans into the poison counter theme and infect. Um, it has infect, and it has the ability where it gives a poison counter to every player right off the bat. So if you have some proliferate cards in your deck, this could be a crucial card to start poisoning your opponents to death. And next up we have Crypt Rats. These little rodents are a nuclear bomb waiting to happen. Its ability acts as a clutch instant speed mana sink, perfect for the end game when you need to deliver a huge blow to your opponent's life total, or you just want to completely wipe the board. So definitely a unique ability and good to have on the table just in case you want to hit the reset button. And number six, we have Rat Colony. This is one of the unique cards where you can have unlimited number of them in your deck and their power gets larger for every number of rats you control. And it doesn't specifically have to be rat colony to boost the power, it can be any rats. So once you have three or more rats down the battlefield with rat colony, its power level starts to become a problem. Number five, we have relentless rats, which I consider a strictly uh, strict upgrade of rat colony because it's a 2-2 body, so a little bit thicker, and also gets a plus one, plus one boost for every other Relentless Rats. So once again, you can have as many of this card as you want in your deck, so you can put 50 of them, um, but it only gets the boost for other Relentless Rats, not for any rat. So that is one downside compared to Rat Colony. But if you have three of these on the battlefield, all of a sudden you got three, four fours, not too shabby. And next up we have Pack Rat. Two drop that gets bigger, the larger the swarm, and lets you pump out more pack rats. So token generation is very valuable in swarm decks, and the fact that your tokens get bigger over time is very dangerous and extremely valuable. At number three, we have Piper of the Swarm. So this creature is obviously not a rat, it's a human warlock, but the sheer amount of rat value it provides is insane. It's, a sta it's static ability gives all your rats a form of evasion, menace, and then it can also pump out rat tokens, which is like we just said, very valuable. And you can use these rat tokens, if you're not doing anything, to steal the biggest baddies from your opponent's board. So this is a ton of value in one card. The reason it's our number three spot, top two are even better. In the second spot, we have Ash Coat. So this is a new card from 2022, specifically from Jumpstart 2022. Um, it makes a great new rat commander. So Ashcoat's abilities lets you pump out small rats, helps you fill your graveyard with potential rat fodder, and it helps you bring back your rat friends every single turn. So it's hard to think that a single rat card could have more value than this because it's pretty much doing everything you want to do in a rat deck, but our number one spot is going to narrowly edge it out. But before we get to that, let's talk about our honorable mentions. We have Rat Catcher and Ogre Slumlord. They aren't rats, but they help you tutor, make rats, and give all your rats death touch. A ton of value there. Burglar Rat helps with card advantage. Typhoid Rat, amazing one, one drop that has death touch. Can be a cheap blocker or attacker. And Dirty Rat is just a cool augment card from Unsanctioned in case you're, uh, you're playing an undeck or a silver border deck. And then here we go. In the top spot, we have none other than Marrow Gnar. This Karate Rat gives all your rodents fear, which means they can only be blocked by black or artifact creatures. Very handy for getting through with your swarm. And then its activated ability lets you sacrifice a rat to make a bunch more rats. 
which can grow exponentially. So this reminds me of Krinko um, and can make your army pretty much unstoppable after only two or three activations. One of those abilities where if they don't kill your Marinoir, you're probably gonna win if you just get to keep turning them sideways. So that's why we have it in our top spot, just its ability to make an insane amount of rats and over, overwhelm your opponents. That's kind of what you're looking to do with a rat deck. So there you have it. The 10 best rat cards in Magic the Gathering. Let us know what you think of our list and any cards we have missed and which of these cards you're gonna put in your deck. And if you wanna see a, a video on another cool tribe, check out this video. And we got dragons. See you next time.